Hey everybody and welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. My name is Amanda. If you're new to the channel, if you're a returning Fam Bam member, I appreciate you being here. This is the launch to a new series on the channel on Mondays about God fighting our battles for us. We need God to fight our battles for us and the amazing thing is He will do it if only we will allow Him to. Right under this video, there's a little arrow, and if you click on it, it'll open up the description box. And I say it like that because guess what? Not everybody knows that, and I want you to know the tools that you have available to you. In that description box, there are tons of links I would love for you to check out. One of them is a video playlist where I've shared two other videos that I've made on this topic. So on Mondays on the channel, I'm going to be talking all things God fighting our battles for us. And in 2021, the only way to survive is to truly give your battles to Jesus and let him fight them for you. Because we, in and of ourselves, are nothing. We cannot do this on our own. We cannot survive. We will not make it without allowing God to fight our battles for us. And yeah, I want to equip you and set you up for success in 2021 to let God fight your battles. Okay, so today's video is exciting because it's the kickoff and the launch. And the very first verse that I'm gonna share with you guys is found in Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14. And in Exodus 14 and 14, we find Moses and the children of Israel and they're being led out of bondage. And so Pharaoh's armies are chasing after them. And so it's pretty safe to assume that they felt like they were in a bit of a battle, right? So I don't know, coming out of 2020 and stepping into 2021, we find ourselves in various kinds of battles as well. Maybe you're in financial battle. Maybe you're in a battle with a family member. Maybe you're struggling in your marriage. Maybe you are in a battle with coworkers or struggling finding yourself in a place of employment that's just really, really stressful and you don't wanna be in. Maybe you're single and lonely. Maybe your battle is an internal conflict, maybe you're struggling with mental health, whatever your battle is today, I want you to take this text, the free printable that I've placed in the description box below. You'll find that SOAP Bible study note, and I want you to print it out, and I want you to write out Exodus 14 and 14. And I need you to understand what was happening here. See, the children of Israel, they cried out to God for help, and they really honestly genuinely thought that Moses led them out into the wilderness to kill them because there were no graves available for them to be buried in. So the, they were just going to be swallowed up by this big body of water. Now think about that for a minute. It, what they did was the right thing. They cried out to God for help. And that's another key tip that I have for you is that if you want to let God fight your battles for you, you have to cry out to him because he is right there waiting to fight for you, to win for you. And let's be honest, he already fought. He already fought and won every battle before the foundation of this earth was ever formed. He's waiting for you to cry out to him just like the children of Israel. So print out that printable below write out Exodus 14 and 14 and know that the only way to survive in 2021 is to one, cry out to God and ask him to fight for you. Ask him to give you wisdom and guidance to be able to know how to handle the battles that you're facing. Ask him to give you strength in these trying times so that you know that with that strength that he's given you and through faith you've accepted it, that you know that you can face any battle knowing that he has went before you. So I hope that Exodus 14 and 14 has really encouraged you. This is what it says. In the New International Version, it says, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Let's look at two more translation or versions of this scripture. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm, right? We've all seen those memes and t-shirts and gifts and everything that says hashtag just stay calm or I can't stay calm because dot 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 and there are so many variations. I encourage you to stay calm as the word of God in the New Living Translation tells us to because we know that we are giving our battles to God and he's going to fight them for us. The last one I want to read to you is King James and it says the Lord shall fight for you and ye 
shall hold your peace. You don't have to run and tell every single person what's going on and every single person. It is biblical to confide in a brother or sister in Christ and get wisdom um, imparted to you through godly counsel. But sometimes, all the time, it's best to do what the children of Israel did in the midst of the heat of their battle is to cry out to God to trust him to fight your battle. So get that free printable, write out Exodus 14, 14, and get into your study notes. Continue this Bible study on your own. Pray, cry out to God. Allow him to take over your battle for you and come back on the channel next Monday for another God Fights Your Battles for You video on this series, as well as on Fridays, I'm doing all things faith and family, food, all the things, right? Just sharing life with you because after all, that is what I love to do. Share life with you with these videos. One video at a time, being a light in the darkness. If you guys haven't already signed up for the Kingdom Crew News, which is my weekly newsletter I send out on Friday mornings, I would love for you to be a part of that. So go ahead and check out in the description box below and pick yourself up a copy of of that as well. I zip those all over to you on Friday mornings, every single Friday. I can't wait to see you open them and read them and grow from them. I cannot wait to read your comments underneath this video and to see your excitement for this series because I know that 2021 is going to be an amazing year and I'm so glad you're here. I'm so blessed and thankful to have you here supporting me on this journey. I would love to pray for you. Send me an email or a direct message on Instagram. Follow me over there as well and let me know what do you need? Let me help you. Let me be your cheerleader. Let me be in your corner. Let me be a part of your fam, bam. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay kingdom-minded in everything you do, and I will see you in the next video.